Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for March 28th, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. I started out the morning by scanning the lake. A mute swan flew by heading east, possibly the same one I saw yesterday when it was heading west. Here we have a flock of scop, and the white on the wings extend all the way out onto the primaries, making these greater scop. Here's a belted kingfisher that flew in and perched, and we know it's a female because of the brown markings to the underside. I had 35 species from the north lookout in the morning. There was a light northerly wind, so I started to count at the south lookout, and there was actually a decent amount of sunshine in the morning to get the flight up, and those northerly winds kept them right over the south lookout. As we got into the midday period, it clouded over and that pretty much shut the flight down for the rest of the day. Here's an example of a turkey vulture coming directly overhead at the south lookout. Just like yesterday, a northern harrier flushed some Wilson snipes, but today there were six instead of five. And speaking of northern harriers, here we have an adult male, also known as a gray ghost. Here we have a large, bulky budio. We see a dark belly band and dark patagial bars. This is a red-tailed hawk, and a dark trailing edge to the wings and red tail indicate that it's an adult. Here we have a raspberry-colored songbird with a forked tail. This is a male purple finch. Throughout the morning, we had a really nice cleanup flight of turkey vultures, continuing yesterday's excellent flight. We had just over 350 total turkey vultures for the day. Here we have a small raptor with pointed wings, so we should be thinking small falcon, and overall this bird is light-colored underneath and has a distinctive facial pattern. This is an American kestrel. Here we have a large, lanky, black and white raptor. This is an osprey. Here's one you should be able to get, another large, bulky budio with a dark belly band and dark patagial bars, a dark trailing edge to the wings, and a red tail. Make this an adult red-tailed hawk. Here we have two large waders flying overhead. We see long trailing legs and long necks that are curved into an S shape with long bills, kind of a grayish blue overall because these are great blue herons. Here we have a hawk with a long tail and looking at this bird, we see that the tail does seem to be squared off at the tip and all the tail feathers are about the same length. It's hard to judge the head on this bird. Actually, the head looks maybe a little bit large and it's hard to really see the streaking to the underside, but it looks like it might possibly be a juvenile. To my eye, this is a sharp-shinned hawk, but if you disagree, you can let me know in the comments. Here's an American crow that flew by with some damage to the wing feathers. I had 37 species from the south lookout. At 3 o'clock, the wind shifted to being southerly, so Dave Wheeler and I made the move back to the north lookout. With the gloomy conditions, we didn't really have any raptor activity pick up. We had a group of five turkey vultures, and we also had this osprey going by along the lake shore. And the last migrant of the day was this bird. We see a small raptor with very pointed wings, so a small falcon, and we see that it's got dark streaking to the underside, so a small dark falcon flying with a big attitude is a merlin. In total for the day, I had 54 species, but none were new for the season. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrant raptor totals, today we had 367 turkey vultures, 3 ospreys, 2 northern harriers, 3 sharp-shinned hawks, 1 cooper's hawk, 3 red-shouldered hawks, 15 red-tailed hawks, and for falcons we had 3 kestrels and 1 merlin for a total of 398 migrating raptors. That brings the season total to 13,764. Taking a look at the forecast, well, there's a lot of rain coming up. For tomorrow, rain with thunder possible. Temperatures only in the mid-upper 30s and light northerly winds, so overall an unfavorable wind, and with that rain, I would expect only minimal, if any, migration. Sunday and Monday are looking warmer with southerly winds but it looks like it will be rainy again. But we'll keep an eye on those as we get closer because if they take that rain out of the forecast, with those good winds, we could end up with a flight. All right, another fun day of hawk watching with former counter Brandon Brogel along with the Hawk Mountain trainees. It was a bit of a slower morning, although we did end up with a decent flight, but a nice chance to hang out and chat with everyone. And then the rest of the afternoon was pretty slow overall. And it looks like there will be more slow days coming up with the rain coming, but like I said, if they take some of that rain out when we have the southerly winds, we could get a good flight, and either way, maybe we'll get a new influx of songbirds. So always something happening out here at Derby Hill. 
Hope to see you soon. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.